Dad? Dad, are you there? Can you hear me? What is this place? It's a school I attended before Judgment Day. Why are we here? <sighs> you know why. Dad, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. It's your birthday. Of course it matters. Besides, you're the one always <clears throat> saying that you're old enough to scavenge. Well, today, you actually are. But we're not even supposed to be here. The Resistance <laughs> said Skynet was around here. I wouldn't take everything John Connor says as gospel. What do you have against him? I used to be a real <gasps> asshole. <gasps> we went to school together. This school, actually. You've met John Connor? I didn't know him personally, but everybody knew about him. I guess this was just one of the schools he got expelled from. I doubt he'd remember it. Okay, it looks safe. You can follow me. You're already on your way here, aren't you? I don't need you to babysit me, Dad. Just get yourself over here. I need your help. Hey, Dad. I found some chemicals. You have to dream bigger, kid. Especially today. I'm still taking them. There you are. Now, let's start searching this place. What are we even looking for? A time capsule. What's a time capsule? Well, it's a, a box filled with letters, pictures, and other things that we buried when I was a student here. Why did you bury it? To preserve a piece of our lives, I guess. Since it's been in the ground this whole time, I'm hoping that it survived Judgment Day. If I'd known that the world would end just a couple of years later, I would have hidden something more useful in there. And again, no one could have predicted that. What would you have hidden? I don't know. Beer or something? Here lies history. I think I found it. Stand back. You know, back in my day, parents used to say that they wanted to give their children more than they had growing up. And since that won't be possible for you, I'd like you to have at least a taste of what I had. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, you're something? Really? A machine? Yeah. We've got enough of those around here, don't we? <laughs> Okay, what else is in there? Some baseball cards, a cassette tape. Dad, I, I think we should go. I really don't need anything. How about this? Huh. I know it's not much. Happy birthday, Jacob. That's cool. Thanks, Dad. Ah, oh, look at this. That's a letter I wrote to myself. What does it say? Future Frank. That's me. If you don't teach your son to mind his own business, I'm going to be very disappointed with you. Ha ha, very funny. <laughs> I'll hang on to it for later. Fine, let's just go. It's not safe here. Wait, there's something else here. Now this one says that it needs to be hand-delivered. Let's see what's so important. Dad, we don't have time for this. And it's not for you. I doubt anyone's waiting for it. How would you like it if a stranger read your letter? Are you serious? I'm just trying to follow your rules. You know what? It's your birthday. I won't open it unless we find the proper recipient. 
It'll be our little project. I promise. <gasps> Come here. Stay low. As soon as it comes closer, we make a run for it, right? Come on, Jacob! Stay close! I'm right uh. behind you! Through here! Are you alright? I'm fine, just go! Too good. Don't worry about me. Get out of here. Understand? But Dad... I said get out of here. Get down into the sewers. I'll meet you there soon. Dad? can hear me, please, let me know. Where are you? Jacob! You're, you're hurt. They're coming. We need to go. We're gonna be all right. Go on. Back! Move back! Dad! Jacob, run! <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. What? Can't say that it never happened to me. Oh, there they are. I knew I'd find them here. Are you okay? You were talking in your sleep. Just a bad dream. Baron's looking for you. We've got visitors that she wants you to meet. Visitors? A tech comm unit. At least what's left of it. Just a heads up. Something's going on. Everyone's walking around nervous. Thanks.
They're waiting for you. Come back later and let me know what's happening. Soldier? I appreciate you taking us in, Commander. I was sorry to hear about your team. Fucking ambush. I'll write it in the report. That can wait. New orders have come in for you. Excuse me? You're moving out right away. We just lost three men. Me and Pharaoh need some time to recuperate. I'm afraid that's not possible. Northridge Outpost has gone silent. You need to go there, find out what happened, and... What? Check if their radio's on? You know that Skynet's been jamming our signal. That may be true, but you'll still need to see to this personally. What the hell's going on, Baron? Look, it doesn't make sense to me either. I could have sent a team of my own. They'd already be there, and we would know what went wrong. So? Why didn't you? Because the order's coming directly from John Connor. He insisted it be you. Okay. So what's the plan? Go to Northridge, find out what happened. Then escort the people there back to safety. Their withdrawal is long overdue. Word is that you captured a new Terminator model. That's right. An infiltration unit. Our top scientist is running an analysis on it as we speak. Does that have anything to do with this mission? The last we heard from Northridge was that they liberated a group of scavengers, so that's certainly a possibility. I see. Jacob Rivers here helped us capture the new model. He'll be joining you, along with Evans, as per Connor's request. Okay, Rivers. So you can tell an infiltrator from one of us. What else can you do? Marksman. Good. We need sharp eyes out there. All right. Check the supply crate and gather your equipment. Looks like we're moving out soon. Get ready. We got a long drive ahead of us. So, how did it go? I'm joining Kyle Reese. We're moving out right away. I thought that was him. So what's he like? He seems to have a lot of faith in John Connor. Don't you? I mean, he is the leader of the Resistance. Wait, is there something that I should know? So, what's on your mind? Yeah. I wanted to ask you, you trust those guys, right? You stood face to face with that Terminator, so you'd recognize if something was wrong? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be putting any ideas in your head. It's the atmosphere around here lately. I think it's getting to me, too. What were you looking for back there? Just some toys. Aaron wants to prep a field hospital for the children. So she asked me to grab whatever I can. She's hoping to bring some normalcy to the shelter. Ever since they brought that machine in, everyone's been on edge. Why do you ask? That toy soldier looked familiar. Do you want me to put it aside so that other kids don't play with it while you're out? I can do that. Just say the word. They're waiting for me. Take care, Jacob.
Any questions before we leave, Rivers? What do you think about the team? Corporal Farrell's a good fighter. I've been working with her for years. You and Evans? I'll wait until I know you better. But I'll postpone the introductions till we're on the road. What do you think about this mission? In normal circumstances, I would say that the mission is straightforward. But I would have appreciated some advance warning. But these are not normal circumstances. Nothing is normal when Connor's involved. You're gonna learn that very soon. Why do you think John Connor selected us for this mission? He must have his reasons, he always does. To be perfectly honest, I learned a long time ago not to ask too many questions. Why? He's got this uncanny ability of putting the right people in the right places at the right time. That's a great skill to have when you're the commander of the entire resistance. So when John Connor vouches for you, I already know you'll do your job well. Rivers. All set? Rivers, open the gate. We're moving out. Seems like you've been appointed a special task, alongside Kyle Reese, no less. Just so you know, regardless of what happens, there's always a place for you here. There's something wrong. Every once in a while, an assignment comes along that nothing can prepare you for. I fear that this might be such an assignment. I hope that Connor made a wise decision selecting you for this mission. Besides, I need all the bodies I can get here. Any other questions? Who's Evans? I've never seen him before. He joined us not too long ago. He's a survivor from another division, just like you. A sharpshooter. That's all I know, since he doesn't talk much. Which I appreciate. Can we trust him? He could ask me the same question about you. If you're concerned, you can always take it up with Connor. He appointed him to this mission in the first place. What can you tell me about Kyle Reese? He's Connor's right-hand man. Can't blame him for wanting to keep Reese close. He's a great soldier, completely devoted to the cause. Did you serve together? Yes, we did. We used to serve under Perry. Back then, we were naive enough to think that T-600 rubbers were as bad as things could get. <laughs> Good times. After that, I became the field commander, and he joined the North Division. Now we only catch each other between missions. He's too busy doing special tasks for Connor. Uh, what's the status on that second-generation plasma rifle? Alvin is still working on it. So, there's a chance he'll have that gun ready before my return. I wouldn't hold your breath. Our professor doesn't have a stellar record when it comes to reprogramming Skynet technology. We're still looking for a spider scout he lost somewhere in the shelter. Yeah, what if he can't hack that plasma? I don't even want to think about the alternative at this point. Good luck. We're approaching Northridge. All right. It's a good time to bring everyone up to speed. This is a rescue mission, as simple as it gets. We go in, secure the perimeter, and prepare the evacuation. 
I don't want anyone to draw Skynet's attention. We're not prepared for that. We keep our heads down and evacuate those people to safety. What if there's no one to evacuate? Care to elaborate, Corporal? Outposts don't stay silent for that long. If no one's been reporting in, I'd expect to find the remains of a massacre, sir. I think introductions are in order. The eternal optimist sitting next to me is Corporal Farrow, an explosive specialist. Sergeant Rivers and I have already been introduced. What about you, Evans? What's your story? I've read your file. You're the sole survivor from the 113th, right? 113th? I've heard about it. How'd you manage to escape? Supposedly he took down a T-800 with his bare hands. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Is it true? Did John Connor select us for this assignment? That's right. I'd like to meet him. Complete the mission and you just might. We're getting close. Get ready. Northridge is up ahead. Evans, give us the sit rep. No signs of any resistance soldiers at the gate. <sighs> Not good. Three T-600 approaching one o'clock. T-600? They're still around? Let's not get sloppy. We don't know what's behind that gate. This is a tech comm mission. I want us to move fast. I want us to be efficient. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's clear the area. Evans, you want to start us off? Affirmative. Everyone on me! Target acquired. to the basement. That's where they'd have taken their stand. If anyone's left alive, they'll be there.
move downstairs! Evans, you stay there and watch for reinforcements. Understood. All hands on deck. Rivers! God damn it! Rivers! Where the hell are you? We need all hands on deck. Rivers! All right. Everyone get ready. friendlies if there are any friendlies left alive the doors to the garage are wide open what the fuck is going on sergeant where is everyone Let's clear the area first we'll figure it out later enemies coming from the left How's it looking on your side? That's all of them. Then secure the perimeter. What do we do now? We need to report this. Find a radio station and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. No bodies? This doesn't make any sense. Radio station here.
Nothing. Comms. Well, this should be it. Sergeant, found a radio station upstairs. I understand you're not happy with the situation, but for now you'll have to stay put. At least until I discuss your next move with Connor. Is that clear? Yes, Commander. Awaiting further instructions. Over and out. All right. Looks like we're turning in for the night. I understand that not everything went as planned today. There are still a lot of unanswered questions here. But for now, get some rest. Tomorrow will be when the real work starts. Yes, sir. Rivers, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you about your performance today. Sir. Each of us has been selected for this mission because we all have something to contribute. When we don't do our part, people die. That's what happened during my previous assignment. So I need you to be more focused. Is that understood, Rivers? Yes, sir.
Sarge, any new orders from HQ? Not yet. For now, we're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. I got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? Maybe those T-600s took the people here by surprise and put them on transporters. And uh, what we fought yesterday was just a patrol left to make sure they got everyone. I agree. Their presence here doesn't fit this puzzle. But ultimately, the T-600 is a discontinued series. If Skynet wanted to abduct everyone without a trace, why send an outdated model? It's not impossible that an old Skynet army just wandered in here after everyone had left. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory, but I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? anything left. Looks like I lost a bet. You mentioned a bet. What'd you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first, but an empty armory certainly is a head-scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly as if nothing happened, even if a lot of shit happened. I'm sure it's because he cares for his people. I'd say that he cares for the mission more than his people. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost, and not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like.
What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. Rivers, report to the communications room when you have a minute. Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. How did you know we wouldn't find anything in that armory? I've been trying to work on the car, but the garage here is missing some tools. The only things still lying around here are what the protocol deems inessential equipment. The things that are supposed to be left behind during an evacuation. Those people were packed and ready to go. Do you think it's safe to stay here? That group of T-600s that we destroyed yesterday is a discontinued infiltration unit. They tend to malfunction. I doubt they're still connected to Skynet, so they couldn't give out our location. We're safe here. Having said that, I don't like the direction we're inching towards. North? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true? What they said in the car? That you took down a Terminator with your bare hands? It's true. How'd you do that? I didn't even know someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus, we have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Oh. Check what's inside. I'm heading back. This where you are. Sarge, I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that.
Rivers, we don't need Skynet's eyes on us right now. Doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Over and out.
We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Oh. Um, okay, forget it. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Pharaoh. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. Rivers, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. Huh. Terminator's 12 o'clock. What do we do? We could let him pass. It's your call. The building over there is a good vantage point. I'll be able to navigate you from there. Are you sure you're ready to do this on your own? Yes, sir. All right, then. Just keep your radio close. Good luck, Rivers. HK Aerial flying by. We don't have enough firepower to destroy it, so keep an eye on it. If it searchlight spots you, you're out of luck. I'm at the top. I gotta get you. I can see that the HK could be a problem. Looks like this is where Skynet dumps their malfunctioning units. See if you can scavenge anything useful. Just keep your eyes open. Some of them might not be offline. Rivers, I've noticed something. There's a 
Skynet antenna not far from your position. I think that HK is part of its surveillance. That's why it keeps popping up. Anything we can do about it? It's too dangerous. These types of facilities usually have their generators deep underground. First, you need a way to get down there. So you're saying I need a rope? I don't think you're hearing me, Rivers. But technically speaking, yeah, you need a rope. Found a rope. So you're really gonna go through with this? Word of warning. Get yourself some sound decoys. The perimeter around the antenna is littered with silverfish. I see a junkyard close by. If you need some scrap metal to craft sound decoys, where you'll find it.
The antenna. I see it. Hacking it will grant us control over those surveillance turrets. They're equipped with a second-generation plasma rifle. Strong enough to bring down an HK? That's exactly right. How do I get inside? There has to be a way down. Keep your eyes open. See it. I won't be able to hear from you when you get down there, so good luck.
This is it. Reporting back. The generator's offline. Move back, Rivers. The antenna's gonna blow. Holy shit! That flash of light was you? Are we trying to destroy Skynet? I thought this was just a rescue mission. Apparently not for Rivers. Evans, we've got to... Step it up. I appreciate keeping the morale up, Rivers.
What is this place? From what I can tell, it's some sort of refueling station. You could try sabotaging it if you're up for it. I'm sure Pharaoh and Evans would appreciate that. Destroying those plasma containers will ground those HKs. Destroy the first container.
That's the last one. Great job. That'll slow him down substantially. I'm in the command center. Good. Take a look around and see if you can find anyone. Nothing so far. Nothing. We still have the other location to check. Pick up whatever might be useful and proceed forward. Watch out! Hostiles approaching the building.
I fell into a basement. Shit, that's what here. Try taking that one by foot. mission. Huh! <laughs> 
getting closer to that checkpoint. It's out of my line of sight. I won't be- the Building's compromised! Clear! I'd like to proceed forward, sir. We need to be sure. Just be careful. There's no one here. Take a look around. See if you can find something useful. Just another encoded message. Evans, how's it looking on your end? We just noticed some movement. Someone or something was heading your way. We lost sight of it close to the cemetery. Cemetery, I see it. Rivers, I'm marking it on your map. It's close. Heading there now. I'm at the cemetery. The gate is breached. Approach with caution.
Sergeant, there's no one here. Evans must have seen a Terminator. All right, Rivers. Time to pack up and go. Check if there's anything that we could use. <coughs> Wait! <coughs> I hear something. It's coming from a coffin. Be careful. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Sergeant, I found some. Are you the one that sent us that message? Yes. Yes, I am. I've been trying to reach you ever since I escaped from the convoy. Rivers, we'll question him later. We need to get him out of there. Yes, sir. Move out. I'm heading your way. All right. Let's move. Coming. Stay low. It's safe now. Rivers, over here. Follow me. We need to get that man to safety. I've set up an evacuation point this way. Terminators, you stay behind. Rivers, on me. Please, God, don't let them die. I don't want to be left alone anymore. Evacuation route leads through that building. Then let's clear the way. Let's go! Evans, Pharaoh, we got the package. You're clear to evac. Copy that. We'll be heading out soon. I'll just set a couple more explosives as a parting gift for Skynet, and we'll be on our way. Okay, Rivers. I'll take that man out to safety. If you need some time to look around, then this is it. It's up to you. All right, let's move out. They look just like you guys. Same uniforms, same weapons. We thought we were saved, but they led us to transporters that took us straight to a Terminator factory, with production lines churning out hundreds of them a day. So our missing people are still there? Some. Most of them are in a work camp set up not that far from the factory. Where's that? Further north. How far? I couldn't see. It was dark. It was hard to tell. You know what I'm asking. Was it behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. Yes, it was. Shit. I haven't seen anything like it before. They torch everything in their path. I snuck past it after I broke out of the convoy. The ground was so hot, 
It melted the soles on my shoes. Did I hear that right? We're crossing the annihilation line? That wasn't part of the plan. It was supposed to be a quick recon mission. I haven't decided on anything yet. We're severely unprepared. Are you sure that's where they are? I... What's I, up with him? I don't... I'm not sure. Sir, we have to consider falling back. I've noted your concerns, Corporal. But ultimately, I'll be the one making that decision. Now, I need some time to think this through. For now, Farrell, set up the perimeter. Evans, you're first on guard duty. Let's clear our heads. <laughs> 